absolutely right so double he's triple smokes but a mid push from phase looking likely this is a very common strategy try and disrespect your opponents don't allow them to execute whatsoever but it's actually a deal opening things up rain will neutralize the situation but they're looking like they're in a bit of hot water here phase jab well contained to banana now they're gonna have to get this kill and Rikey will be taken out of the picture by kst Customize that kill as Carrigan back of the site needs to get a couple done and wow, he's pinned, he's locked and they're jumping his way. Yeah, he should be done for here. I don't think he gets a single kill and that mid-aggression can be a double-edged sword. You either get all the frags very quickly or it can fall apart. Not necessarily over. We've got a Jill here in KST tucking themselves in. Does Carrigan check the corner? Maybe. Doesn't matter. He'll go down regardless. Takes him down to 15 points of health. A twist will spam the smoke. Fortunate not to get the kill there. The Jill just trying to tuck himself in. We're back to a two on two. Like I said, plenty of time, Chad. Could fall back to the other bomb site. Wherever they go, they can guarantee there'll be one man at most at yeah, the well, other bomb site. Rob's top mid here. This should be sealed right now. Look, 45 seconds left on the clock, sure, but Rob's under the porch, just ah. jumping on in. No trade potential there. The spacing was a little bit off. And yeah, easy, easy stuff there for FaZe. So 2-1, likely to be, well, 3-1. But is it required in a 5-4, and four, Chad? You have the man advantage. Carragher thinking better of it now. Probably needs to suggest there's some presence towards the top, maybe a flashbang over at this stage, but... Uh, not clear in the corners, simple stuff for Rain. Yeah, two big kills, even goes for the drop of the little nade right there. Kragan's gonna run into the orb. KST is gonna get one back, and... Well, it is a two-on-three situation, but continuing just to fight towards bottom of Banana here. Rain's gonna grab another. Two more kills coming. Banana, and that's gonna lure Brokey forward. And it's the Dodo, he sat there the entire round so far, and Brokey oh. just steps right out and puts him in the grave. And here they go, walking to their demise. Ooh. Brokey will meet his maker, though. Four on three. Aris Dossi have a chance to actually answer back as well, but decides to fall back for the moment being. And uh, less than a minute remaining. They still have three smokes. KST will be holding towards Banana. They're actually in front of the smoke itself. So Rain, I think he goes down here. And indeed he will. A couple of peaks now have led us to a three versus three. Carrigan with no utility to speak of, and they're going to pounce on him. He needs to get one and drop off. Can't even do that. It's looking like a back-to-back -back round situation for FTW. The all-important kill towards the pool area. Low HP. A duel didn't stand a chance, but can KST rise to the occasion here? Has to find early damage. Bring it down to a one versus one early. Twist down to 15 points of health, but they know exactly where he is. His days are numbered here, but there's the all-important kill. One versus one now against oh. Rops, who's just out-positioned him. Got the AK-47 as well, but it all starts here. He spotted the boots. Now the player towards second middle. He'll check it out again. Carrigan should get his kill, no problem. There it is. The DS taken down, but the round potentially decided now. Rain with the smoke. The M4A1S. And unfortunately for him, he's actually smoked off himself. And time is of the essence. We have the halfway... Marker, and I think just trying to find a couple of kills, get a 20 bomb before the half ends, that yeah, might be something. Yeah, a bit of stat padding right here, Rain. Show us what you got. Really no time to rent the there round now. That's some crispy aim. The damage under a guild, not too bad. Mentality here, and KST does not nail that first shot. But Stododo baited him with those dual elites, and he actually manages to step up here. Twist will be removed, but presumably will be dropped down. He gets himself a second frag, but Rain and Rops will be causing absolute chaos okay. on the A side. Well, there's two flashes for a Jill here. That's the key back into this round right now if you are FTW, but how potent are these post plants going to be? One towards Graveyard, one site, and floating around that boiler room is going to be Carrigan, but creeping through the smoke. Rain now, he's taking some fights, and it's going to be Rop just poking up his head from the graveyard and puts one in the dirt six feet under. Rain chimes in for one more, Ooh, but... Nice shot. Aradose, that is big on the USP, a one on three. This would be one way to get the fire started for FTW. So... He tries to feign out the defuse. Carrigan not taking the bait whatsoever. And now he's in a lot of trouble, but the oh! position is not great from Carrigan. It's a pre fire. No time. But no time. You're dead on there, Chad. To be honest, he's towards Emo, though. It can be good for a couple. Rob, so not going to miss that. He spotted the shoulder of the Diaz. That's the rifle removed. And unless you're hitting that shot straight away, it's unlikely you get much more going. And indeed, Carrigan confirms it. Rob's holding the flanks and just looking to farm kills. I think he goes down eventually. Indeed, he does. And uh, there we have it, a Jill. The Dodo will save the M4, potentially an AK-47. Well, it spoke too soon. Just the M4 available here. So another click, more people, more work, you know? That's... Yeah, well, that's one thing that I like to do, is give everybody else more work. <laughs> save myself that little venture. It's the Dodo, there's the first. Brokey down, flash no forward. Yeah, you're right, but let's see. Can he at least make some magic happen here? This would be miraculous, but Rain finishes Inferno in style.